Let's take a look how to make this VHS effect here in After Effects. All right, let's create a new composition, rename it as VHS, and I'm gonna go with 1080p, click OK. From here, I'm gonna drag and drop a video reference. Let's go to the layer, new, and select adjustment layer. Right click on the adjustment layer, rename, effects, and let's go to the effects and presets, type in brightness, drag and drop the brightness and contrast on the effect. And I'm gonna go and increase the brightness with a random color and the contrast as well. Now take that in mind that the brightness and contrast settings are going to differ from every each video that you're gonna import. So let's go to the effects and presets, type in Venetian blinds and drag and drop the Venetian blinds under the brightness and contrast. Make sure to uncheck the stopwatch at the transition completion and check this out. I'm gonna decrease the transition completion and it's gonna make these stripes. And if you go down more, it is going to increase or decrease the distance in between the lines. Right now I'm gonna go with a random number and select the Venetian blinds, press Control D to duplicate the Venetian blinds. And here we got the second one. And here all you need to do right now is change up the direction from a minus 90 degrees to zero. And now we got the squares. Now the problem is that these squares are kind of big. So you can go here to the width. Right now it's on 24. If you decrease it, check this out, you're gonna make it more dense. So I'm gonna go and decrease it all the way to 10. And also the Venetian blinds number two, I'm gonna decrease it to 10. Let's go to the effects and presets, type in simple choker, drag and drop the simple choker under the Venetian blinds. And I'm gonna increase the choke mat. And check this out, it is going to make these squares circles. Now the main point is to create the rounded squares. So I'm gonna go back to the Venetian blinds and decrease at the transition completion. And the more you decrease, the more longer it's gonna get. I'm gonna select the 26, control C, and I'm gonna go to the Venetian blinds number two, control V, and check this out. Now we got rounded squares. Now this image is still a little bit more underexposed because we applied these Venetian blinds. And I'm gonna go back to the brightness and increase it more. I'm gonna go somewhere around 110. Also increase the contrast somewhere on 90. Let's go back to the effects and presets, type in wave warp, drag and drop it under the simple choker. And let's go to the wave type and we're gonna change it up to noise. And I'm gonna decrease the wave height. I'm gonna go somewhere around 6.5. I'm gonna try it out with five and increase the wave width. I'm gonna go all the way up and I'm gonna type in a thousand. Now the waves are going to look way more rare and it's gonna create this really nice effect. Now let's go back to the effects and presets, type in glow, drag and drop the glow under the wave warp and let's check out the glow threshold. I'm gonna go and decrease it. I'm gonna go somewhere around 30, 40. I'm also gonna increase the glow radius. I'm also gonna go to the glow intensity, increase it a little bit maybe. 1.2 and you also can change up these black and white colors so it's going to customize the colors on the effect let's go to the glow colors change it to a and b colors and color looping sawtooth ba let's scroll down and here we can change up the colors purple click ok i'm going to select the second one Click OK. Let's go to the effects and presets, type in a level. And let's go and drag and drop the level individual controls on the effects. And here we're gonna need to do a couple of things. Here we got the RGB, red, green, blue. We're gonna open up all of these and we're gonna customize them one by one. So here we got the RGB, input black. I'm gonna decrease it on minus 20-ish to exclude the black areas. Input white, make it more brighter eventually. Let's go to the red. I'm gonna increase it. And I'm also gonna go a little bit further to see how it's gonna look. I'm gonna go with 300-ish. Let's go to the green. And I'm also gonna check the green input black. And I'm about to least the blue. So feel free to experiment with these and see which one works best for you. I think this is pretty nice. Let's go back to the effects and presets, type in curves, drag and drop the curves on the effects. And we're gonna customize the contrast a little bit. Let's go again to the effects at presets, type in glow again, drag and drop the glow on the effects, increase the glow threshold to 100, make it more brighter, type into the effects, posterize time, drag and drop on the effects, decrease it to 15-ish. This is going to exclude an amount of frames and make the video more simple. Now, but at least let's go to the effects, type in grain, drag and drop add grain on the effects, Let's go to preview, change it to final output. And we're gonna go to the intensity, increase the intensity. I gotta go with 4.6. And I gotta go to the size, decrease the size, 0.6. And I gotta go to the aspect ratio. I gotta go with 1.4. And this is how I make this grungy VHS effect here in After Effects.
Thanks for watching.